my name's Rich Severson, and uh, I want to show you this guitar right here. This is called a Guild X170. Before we go any further, hey, if you like guitars and you like to learn how to play them and all that good stuff, hit the subscribe button and the like button. I would really appreciate that. Okay, if you've seen any of my videos before, I'm always looking at jazz guitars, okay? That's what I like. So this guitar right here, um, I forget what year this is, but they were making these, I think, between 88 and 2002. This particular one is in spectacular shape. It's beautiful. Now, the X70 is uh, two and a half inches wide, 16 and a half inch lower bout, laminate sides and back maple, three piece neck, rosewood fretboard, got some nice inlays, and this particular one is made in the USA. And uh, it has just got a phenomenal sound. These pickups just really speak to me. Really beautiful sound. By the way, that song was called Out of Nowhere. Um, so, tell you what, let's hear some octaves with it, shall we? Why not? Because <clears throat> I always, you got to give it the test, right? Mm -hmm. So it's definitely got a nice smooth sound. I wanted to say smooth jazz sound, but I ain't gonna say it. So let's take a look at it close up, shall we? This is uh, kind of yellow on my monitor. It's a darker orangey color than that yellow. So look at that. Gold, it's in beautiful shape. I'm really impressed with this guitar. Really, really impressed. Headstock, beautiful shape. This I'm going to offer up to some lucky student should they want it. Let's take a look at the back. So it's got a th three piece maple neck, You've got the two sides and a little stringer down the middle. And take a look, it's got binding. Uh, uh, I forget the ply on this, it looks like it's. Uh, five at least, ply binding all around. Just gorgeous shape. I've always liked the guilds and uh, I haven't had too many of them, I gotta say, but I've always liked them. I've had several of the X-50s. Um, Guild has a special kind of fret that they use and it's it's not the tallest fret, and it's not the shortest, but it's skinny, skinny fret. I think the theory is the less fret, 
the less chance for buzz. Um, so 16 inch bout, let's take a listen to the back pickup. Here it is. Let's hear this one. Okay, so anyway, there it is. Uh, feels good, body a little closer uh, in than, than a 175, and uh, just feels good. The neck profile, it's a little flatter on the back, not as rounded as some of the others, but it's, it feels just great. So look at it, if you're interested in this guitar, give me a jingle, and we'll talk guitars. I will talk at you later. If you ever get a chance to play one. It's funny, I was at a guitar show. I ran across this model and this probably was um, I would say in the year uh, oh, 2005. Ran across this guitar and I thought holy cow, this thing, not this particular one, but this model. These things are nice. I couldn't put the thing down. One of my students came along and guess what? He bought it. One important note I forgot to mention, and that is this actually does have a tiny, well, a thin, about the size of this bridge, block of wood underneath the bridge connecting the top with the back. Now, the purpose of that is to prevent feedback. So I imagine this guitar can, can run at higher volumes than a straight old solid body or a hollow body guitar so that's uh, one important thing to note um so i forgot to mention that and i wanted anyway, to bring that up i will talk at you later bye for now